Uh, Taylor, you were monitoring mm -hmm. the Investor Day this morning. So first, let's go to you and just sort of describe to us the, the highlights. Yeah, we've had it a few hours ago through the 60-page analyst uh, presentation that was released this morning around 8.30. Some of the key takeaways, I think, first was just cutting the dividend in half to 12 cents a share. You've seen share prices initially spike on that news in pre-market trading as analysts were really hoping that that would happen. Then they started to come out with some other headlines a couple hours later around 8.30. Um, they're looking at at their adjusted earnings per share of anywhere from a dollar to a dollar seven cents. Analysts had floated around the idea of a dollar 18 cents per share. Analysts are saying that underlying those numbers that actually could be lower than that, and you're going to see free cash flow perhaps underwhelm that through 2018. That was according to a Cowan analyst. So that could be perhaps one of the reason why the shares are down. If you want me to keep going, um, they were <laughs> divesting about $20 right, billion dollars right. in assets to be a smaller, nimbler, more company. So they three sectors that they are keeping were power, aviation, and healthcare. Now, Power GE said they're going to continue to see pricing pressures in the fourth quarter. We spoke with Jeff Sprague over at Vertical Research Partners. He said there's a lot of deflationary pressure on that. So even though it's an earnings driver for them, they are going to see a little bit of some pricing pressure on that. And then with aviation, the good news is that's about 7 to 10% of organic revenue growth that they're expecting. Um, and aviation is the largest contributor to operating income, about 37%. And again, focusing mm. in on those and those three key things will drive about 80% of earnings power, according to our BI analyst.